Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From Mail Online under the main headline of Lewis Hamilton admits Ferrari and Red Bull are in another league. Summary of headline article. Just a tenth separated the top three drivers including pole sitter Charles Leclerc. Who will start ahead of Red Bull's Max Verstappen and his Ferrari teammate Carlos Sainz? Lewis Hamilton admits Mercedes are off the pace of front runners Red Bull and Ferrari Sergio Perez. Ensured the top two teams locked out the front two rows. With Hamilton best of the rest. Despite being off the pace. Hamilton was not too downbeat in his post-qualifying assessment despite his lowly position. The guys ahead of us are in another league. He told Sky Sports. Ferrari's Charles Leclerc. Right. Qualified on pole position ahead of Max Verstappen. Left. These guys. Red Bull and Ferrari. We'll be going ahead. We are not in the fight with them. My battle is with the guys behind us. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Man United Stadium rebuild may cost £1.5 billion to become. League's most expensive ground. Summary of headline article. It has been revealed that club executives are working on plans to develop and revamp the new ground. With drastic changes to the theater of dreams being considered. There is also the option of building a brand new stadium opposite Old Trafford. However, it could set the club back over £1 billion. According to the Daily Mail and become the most expensive stadium in the Premier League. I think by the time that they have spent money on Old Trafford, the existing one, then I think you would be better off building a brand new, better, super stadium. Paris Saint-Germain's Mauricio Pochettino is reported to be the leading candidate to succeed Ralph Rangnick at the end of the season. From The Guardian under the main headline of Rafael Nadal wins Battle of Generations to beat Alcaraz. 18. To Indian Wells Final. Summary of headline article. A defiant Rafael Nadal has won an all-Spanish clash of the generations. Taming teenager Carlos Alcaraz 6-4. 4-6. 6-3 to, 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 to stretch his winning run to 20 matches and clinch a place in the Indian Wells final. I was playing well at the beginning but it was just so difficult to stop him with his amazing shots, said Nadal. Who will contest his fifth Indian Wells final? But Nadal would claim the final break to secure a fascinating open set. While Alcaraz was efficient converting both of his two break chances Nadal kept the youngster under. Constant pressure with 17 break opportunities converting three. The second set produced the tight baseline battle expected from the two 24-year-olds. But Fritz again claimed the decisive break to seal the match when Rublev dumped his return into the net. From BBC under the main headline of France sweep fans off their feet with slam win. Summary of headline article. Last updated on. From the section Rugby Union Six Nations 2022, France beat England to complete. Grand Slam. Highlights There is a 1990s billboard advert. Fondly remembered in both England and France. Second row Cameron Wockie was right in the heart of the post-match mosh pit after Saturday's grand. Slam ceiling win over England. He was born in St. Denis. In the shadow of the national stadium. Four months after another France team had cavorted around the pitch. Soaking up the champagne and adulation. And this Paris spring feels like the moment a public fell head over heels for its national team. That unity. That diversity is driving this France team towards 2023 and a shot at even greater history. 
from Daily Star under the main headline of Hafthor Bjornsson ends Eddy rivalry with points victory. After brutal fight. Summary of headline article. Hafthor Bjornsson ended his bitter rivalry with Eddy Hall with a unanimous decision victory over his strongman rival in their highly anticipated boxing bout. However, Bjornsson had the last word as he claimed victory with a points win in Dubai. Bjornsson was able to recover from a difficult opening two rounds to claim a unanimous points. Victory after six rounds. Speaking immediately after his win. Bjornsson said. I've been working my A asterisk off for two years. Firstly. I'd like to thank my coach Billy Nelson for everything. As for ending the hostility between the pair. Bjornsson added. On my behalf. Understandably he seemed a bit angry still. He lost the fight so that is understandable. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Arteta perfectly sums up Arsenal's goalkeeping. Situation as Leno returns. Summary of headline article. Arsenal's number one this term was ruled out of the game against Steven Gerrard's side with a hip injury. That he sustained during the defeat by Liverpool last Wednesday. He wanted to be here to support Burned. Leno. Which tells you about a lot of things behind the scenes. And it is that kind of team spirit undoubtedly helping Arsenal in their quest for top four this. Term. While Leno performed to the kind of standard required against Villa. He should be under no illusions about regaining his place as Arsenal's number one. The 30-year-old is unlikely to play much more of a role when Ramsdale returns and is thought to be exploring potential options elsewhere. From Daily Star under the main headline of Alan Shearer pinpoints Chelsea tactic that Romelu Lukaku is reluctant to use. Summary of headline article. For the latest from the pitch sign up for our football newsletter Alan Shearer has pinpointed a tactic that Romelu Lukaku's apparent reluctance to use has led to his struggles at Chelsea this season. Lukaku returned to Stamford Bridge for a club record transfer fee in the summer following in impressive two-year spell at Inter Milan. Lukaku did return to the starting lineup for the Blues FA Cup quarterfinal clash against Championship Middlesbrough on Saturday. But despite his goal scoring display, Shearer believes that Lukaku is still refusing to deploy a tactic, making him unsuited to Tuchel's team. Havitz has the freedom to move around. But sometimes I think Lukaku is reluctant to make runs in behind. From The Guardian under the main headline of Shane Warne remembered at private funeral in Melbourne. Summary of headline article. Shane Warne's family and friends have held a private funeral in Melbourne. With about 80 guests gathering to say their goodbyes to the cricketing great. Close friend and television personality Eddie Maguire delivered the eulogy and was MC for the Private event at St. Kilda Football Club. Warn. 52. Died of a suspected heart attack on the Thai resort island of Koh Samui on 4 March. Glenn Lawler. A St. Kilda cricket club coach. Reflected on Saturday on his time playing with Warn in the early 2000s. Every time Shane was available he would love coming back and playing with us. Which was great, Lawler said. From Metro under the main headline of, I'm in shock, England keep World Cup hopes alive with. Nail-biting win. Summary of headline article. England beat New Zealand by one wicket at the Women's World Cup. Picture. Getty. Defending champions England kept their Women's World Cup hopes alive with a dramatic one wicket win. Over hosts New Zealand in Auckland. New Zealand made a strong start as openers Sophie Devine and Susie Bates put on 61 in 11.4 overs. But England took six wickets for 34 runs in the middle overs. 
but England suffered a collapse of their own, losing five wickets for 20 runs, which left them 196 to 9. There is a bit of relief. We will reflect on what we can do better and we can make it easier but the main thing was getting the win, England captain Knight said. Meg Lanning's 97 and 72 from Alyssa Healy helped Australia complete the highest chase in women's World Cup history as India's 277 to 7 proved insufficient. From Daily Star under the main headline of Jose Mourinho brags again about how much he's won in comparison to rival. Summary of headline article. For the latest from the pitch sign up for our football newsletter Jose Mourinho has bragged about how much he has won again as he compared himself to rival Zdenek Zeman. When asked about Zeman's prediction, Mourinho said, via goal Italia, do you expect a coach who won 25 trophies to respond to someone who won Serie B twice? Zeman has twice won Serie B. Firstly with Foggia in 1991 before doing the same again in 2012 with Pescara. Whilst Mourinho has won league titles in England, Spain, Italy and Portugal as well as two Champions Leagues. Image. Getty. But it also means three premierships and I won more premierships alone than the other 19 managers. Together. So respect man. Respect. 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 At the time. Only Manuel Pellegrini and Pep Guardiola had league titles to their name amongst the other managers. In the league. Having won two titles between them. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day thank you for your support goodbye.